Dr. Elam, so the Elam Leadership Institute, I know to be an amazing collective of educational experts that help do work within schools around this nation. And I believe my last count was around 20 states that you have done this work in. But I wondered, because people ask me a lot, what is the Elam Leadership Institute? Can you tell us in your own words what you have created and why? Yes, I would love to. When I first got into education, I was always looking for the formula. What is the formula that we need for all groups of students to succeed in school? And I kept going to conferences. And then working across the country in over 20 states, started looking at what can we do systemically that would help schools achieve. And moving away from blaming schools for failure, blaming teachers not knowing enough to work with diverse populations, we started to look at what was it that teachers needed. And the first thing you want to start with your data. That's really important. But data literacy is a challenge when you have such busy schedules. So what we looked at when we looked at the data, we would have them look at it and we help them unpack what are the implications for teaching and learning based on what you see in the data. So in the country, the whole country basically knows we have achievement gaps across, we have instructional gaps, we have um, all kinds of access gaps. But if that's, that's only one level of looking at data. But when you look at data to see the root cause, going in to unpack the why, it could be because I'm a multilingual learner. It could be because I'm special needs. It could be that I don't have access and opportunities, you know, because of maybe economic. It could be based on race or gender. And so looking at the patterns and the gaps that we see in the data, and then what are the implications for me as an educator? What do I do differently? I can't keep doing the same thing. So that's what we do. And we bring experts to the table who know how to do that. Some are former deputy superintendents and superintendents or researchers out of universities or professional developers themselves. And we've come together. Um, you know, they say like-minded people come together. We just value each other and the impact that we've had on schools. So we come together as a think tank to say, how do we help these schools unpack um, some of the challenges that they face? But starting with data is important and that will inform the practice so that it gets to the root cause. It looks at the disparities in a different way. And it's also not just looking at the disparities, it's also looking at successes, what trends are happening that you want to um, repeat doing. And sometimes we don't tell educators that enough. 